Judicial Watch, because of this work, is one of America's most significant civil rights organizations because we're out there stopping government from abusing the civil rights of people based on race and other improper immutable characteristics. We've talked about often how the left is completely obsessed by racial division and strife, encouraging discrimination contrary to law, segregation contrary to law, anti-right racial division contrary to law. It could wreck America. It's communist, Marxist, racist, and it could wreck America. And they aren't backing down. Now, Judicial Watch is pushing back every way we can, often successfully in court. Half of it is exposing what's going on. And to that end, we sued Boston, which had a, the mayor had a, something called electeds of color holiday party. Electeds of color holiday party. So they were having a holiday party. I don't know what holiday they're celebrating. Of course, they can't mention Christmas, I guess. And they're limiting it to just elected officials of color? Yes. On December 12, 2023, a city employee sent an email on behalf of Mayor Wu, the new mayor of, Congre of Boston. I don't know how new she is now, but she, I think she's newish, right? Inviting all city councilors to an elected color holiday party being held the following Wednesday night. Shortly after the initial invitation was sent, the same employee sent another email to apologize for sending out the invitation to all city councilors. She defended the party, Mayor Wu. She's a, she is a hardcore left-wing extremist, by the way. It seems like some of the folks who are concerned might also just not have all the information, right? I can understand someone might be confused or worried if certain people weren't being invited at all or being left out of any type of celebration. But I assure you, everyone on the Boston City Council has got an invitation to multiple types of events and holiday parties. I don't even know what that means. The invitation says for elected, electeds of color. The awkward phrasing aside, it's obviously racially discriminatory and it's a segregationist party. So we asked for records about the segregation, the segregationist party back in December of uh, 2023. Actually, the day after that email was sent, I told you about. The day after the invitation went out and it became public, we asked under the Cal uh, Boston's um, or Massachusetts open records law. And they've given us the runaround, so we're suing. Do you think they should have parties for politicians based on their race? Unbelievable. This is what the left has wrought, though. Left-wing extremists in Boston city government have fully embraced anti-white segregation and discrimination. And now these same politicians are hiding records about this racial discrimination and abuse. Now, to remind you, we have other litigation. We just sued in Oakland um, for a play date that was designed to exclude white children and families at a school. Uh, we just sued San Francisco for a racist, sexist policy that limits cash handouts to black men who present themselves as women only. Uh, we're suing in Minnesota over a Minneapolis public schools contract that requires that whites be laid off before, quote, unrepresented minorities. And if they're rehired, they take second place in rehirings. Completely racist contract. And we successfully challenged racist quotas and sex quotas and gender and uh, uh, sex gender quotas and um, a quota based on ethnicity and LGBTQI status, right? In California, where California had a, a requirement that 
those quotas be implemented for the boards of um, corporations in California. And we sued successfully twice and knocked those laws out. They are embracing illegal discrimination. Talk about the 14th Amendment. The 14th Amendment requires the government to give you equal protection of the laws. The left has abandoned that core civil right. And they don't believe you deserve equal protection of the law based on race. They don't. And we're trying to save America from that. Judicial Watch, because of this work, is one of America's most significant civil rights organizations because we're out there stopping government from abusing the civil rights of people based on race and other improper, immutable characteristics. And so, of course, we do it with your support. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.